My name is Judge Connie Marie Kelly and I am a Wayne County Circuit Court Judge. Uh, before I was elected to the Circuit Court in 2008, I was a practicing attorney for 27 years. I was a partner at a firm uh, in Troy, Michigan called Powers, Chapman, D'Agostino, Myers, and Milia. There was 43 lawyers in that firm and I was one of the eight partners and I was only the second woman who was named as a partner in that firm since it was founded in 1929. So today as we celebrate the 92nd anniversary of women's right to vote, I guess I'm here to say we've made a lot of progress but we still have some ways to go. Uh, I practice law in courts all over the state of Michigan. I did a number of employment uh, cases representing people who had been wrongfully terminated from their jobs or who were otherwise the victim of discrimination, age discrimination, sex discrimination, religious discrimination, uh, race discrimination, and I practice in the Court of Appeals, the Federal Court, and the U.S. District Court for the Sixth Circuit in Cincinnati. Uh, as a judge, I sit in the family division in Wayne County, and uh, we have two million people in Wayne County, and I have about 20,000 cases assigned to me, and some of those are older cases, but in family cases, as you might know, a lot of the people come back with uh, modification requests for custody, so every day uh, I do the hard job of protecting families and children and trying to help families solve their disputes in the most amicable way possible. I also uh, saw a big hole in Wayne County Circuit Court because we issue about 16,000 personal protection orders each year. And I felt like we were giving these petitioners who are mostly women this order to protect them and kind of saying goodbye and good luck and not really helping them to escape the cycle of violence. So two other judges and I uh, applied for and received a grant from the Office on Violence Against Women and we established this Domestic Violence Prevention Court where we've partnered with other agencies to help these victims of domestic violence <coughs> finish their education, to get financial assistance, to get shelter, so that they and their children can escape the cycle of violence. And finally, I did start a girls mentoring program called Cody Girls Make It Happen for the girls at Cody High School in Detroit. These are girls that many of them don't have homes, they don't have parental supervision, they live with neighbors, uh, relatives, and I just felt like they needed someone to help guide them along. So I bring in motivational speakers to talk about good decision making, healthy living, domestic violence, and, and job and career planning. So I have a very full plate right now, but I believe that the experience that I have and my passion for making sure that everyone is treated fairly uh, that will serve me well as a justice on the Michigan Supreme Court. And, and I currently sit as a judge in the 46th District Court, which, as Julie indicated, is in the city of Southfield, but covers Southfield, Lathrop Village, Bingham Farms, Beverly Hills, and Southfield Township, Michigan. Now, I was elected to that position in 2002, so I've been a judge there for approximately 10 years. And I, I was very proud of the diversity that I brought to the bench because I was elected as the first African-American judge to serve in the district and the first African-American female district court judge in my county. And before that, though, I worked in, in private practice in a number of respects. Um, going back towards law school, I am a graduate of University of Michigan, so I'll just say go blue. I know I'm in green territory, <laughs> but I'll say go blue. And uh, at Michigan, um, I had the unique opportunity after graduation to do a federal clerkship. So I worked with a federal judge as a law clerk. And so that really gave me a great foundation for opinion writing, knowing how to analyze issues, and to know what's how to really uh, conduct the courtroom and to see how it's done at the federal level to make sure the justice is meted out fairly and accurately. And so after my service as a uh, judge, uh, as a clerk to the judge, uh, I ended up coming to the Detroit area because I worked over here at Grand Rapids area on the western side of the state as my federal clerkship and I went back to the uh, other side, the eastern side, to begin my practice. And I worked in commercial litigation at a top law firm in the city called Jaffe, Snyder, Rayton, Hewer. And after working for
for Jaffe for a few years, I decided that I would hang out my own shingle because I really decided that I enjoyed the aspect of working for the people and representing people in their common everyday problems and making sure that their rights were in place. And so I did that in my own firm and my total time was about 18 years of working before I got on the bench. So I've got about 30 years of legal experience overall. And the types of things I did was represented common everyday people just like you. So I really understand the concepts that you have as far as what justice means to you. And I understand the problems that you saw from the other side of the bench in the court system because I worked in every every court I can think of around the metropolitan area in circuit court levels and district court levels and even in federal courts. And I represented kids and um, who were really um, having problems and were juvenile delinquents. I represented families that were in trouble and were in uh, the process of possibly losing parental rights. I represented women who were victims of domestic violence. I did a lot, large amount of criminal law work. I did some corporate law work and I worked in just about every area of what the district court covers. And and for you that don't know, the district court covers just regular community concerns like traffic violations, landlord-tenant violations, civil cases of a significant value up to $25,000, criminal misdemeanor cases, and preliminary examinations. So I have a very well-rounded view of the law from both sides of the bench. And I decided that it was necessary to make a change on the Michigan Supreme Court. I really felt that that varied background of experience, the diversity of having worked at the people's trial court was needed. Those insights, the vision that I have from my level court is something that the justices don't have because many of them haven't practiced at the lower court level. And so I'm bringing a, a unique perspective to the Supreme Court and I'm bringing a balance, I'm bringing a, a diverse woman's viewpoint, I'm bringing children and family experience and the concerns of the Michigan citizens to the Supreme Court. And that's why I decided to run for Supreme Court. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, all of you, for taking the time to come listen to us on a Sunday night in August. This is this is very encouraging, and, and uh, we are glad you're here. My name is Bridget Mary McCormick. I am on the faculty at the University of Michigan Law School, and I'm the dean there for all of the clinical programs, um, which are the practical legal education programs. Um, we we uh, at, at law school have become a lot more like med school. We educate our students in the last couple of years um, by having them represent people who wouldn't otherwise have access to lawyers and access to courts and access to justice. Um, and I myself um, have started a number of those clinical programs over the years and I continue to, um, to work in them. I, 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 have a great, I have a great job, I have one of the great jobs in law. I love teaching law students in the classroom, I teach in the tr traditional classroom as well, about the, the importance of our courts in a constitutional democracy and the ways in which the court is an honest broker in government, and how, in my view, that's what everybody wants from a court system. Um, at the same time, the, the teaching in the courtrooms, where I'm with students every day in all of the levels of courts in our state, we're in the trial courts, we're in the appellate courts, we're in the Michigan Supreme Court very regularly, and in the federal courts, um, we, we, we fight to make sure that families um, and people who wouldn't otherwise have access to lawyers and access to justice get a fair shake. Um, and I want to make sure that our justice system in Michigan um, uh, makes it so that everybody can get a fair shake. In the domestic violence clinic, we represent families um, who are coping with domestic violence. Um, in the pediatric health advocacy clinic, which I founded a number of years ago, we partner with pediatricians at Mott Hospital and in Ypsilanti at some low-income health clinics to provide um, legal services to the patients and the, the patients and their families when, what it, when it turns out that what they need more than medical help is legal help. So for example, a pediatrician will call us and say, I've treated this child for a long time to try and help his asthma. I can't help him get better because he's living in a public housing apartment that's full of mold. Um, can you help him? And as it turns out, we can. That's something lawyers can do that doctors can't. And so by partnering with pediatricians, we are improving the health, health outcomes for children and families in those, in those programs. I also founded the Michigan Innocence Clinic, and in that, in that clinic we have um, worked to exonerate people who, who were wrongfully convicted, and we've exonerated six people in our first three years. Um, and in all of the clinical programs, it is um, this, this fantastic part of legal education where the law students get to see the power of a legal degree to do good, the power of our courts to serve all of our families and citizens and make sure everybody gets a fair shake 
in our courts, and that's what I hope to take to the Michigan Supreme Court.